It's been a while, but I figured, you know what? It's time to check out another One Direction video. If you're new here, I've been reacting to One Direction for the past two or three months. I reacted to each one of them individually, and then I reacted to a couple interviews as a group, and I've grown to really like them. It looks like from the thumbnail, the guys were really young here. So I'm looking forward to, to diving in and, and seeing what their dynamic was like and what their personalities were like. That's what I do. I'm Max and I'm a communication skills coach. I react to different people's conversations, interviews and presentations. If you haven't yet, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button and let's get started with the video. Wow, wow, that's Liam, wow. Sorry, that's just a few technical difficulties. What's happening? Wow, right away you're seeing a way more energetic Zane. Thanks, Louie. Wow, crazy how young they were at this time. <laughs> they just look like young boys here. Anyway, welcome back to the video, Dad! Yeah! Yeah! I love those diaries! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> They're back. The video diaries are back. The video, the video diaries. Let's go! Bonk, 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 Stop! Interesting. If you guys remember or checked out my last video, I kept on talking about how Harry really seemed like the leader. I think people's eyes probably gravitate most to Harry when they're in a group together. He just sort of got that, that real superstar quality. But here what I'm noticing is Louis seems like the leader. And he seems like the guy in this setting who has the most charisma, whose people's eyes sort of gravitate toward. And the boys are sort of looking to for answers. Sorry, Liam. Anyone cry. else miss the diaries? Yes, yeah, yeah, big, big time. time. Well, my most embarrassing moment had to be when we were on tour and I split my trousers in front of about 9,000 people. We had to do two songs before we got back to the main stage, and that was rather embarrassing in my Man of Steel. And whose fault was that, Liam? It was your fault, Louis. Liam and Louis are very affectionate with each other. Not in a romantic way or anything like that. They just seem like they're affectionate in the sense that that's the way they communicate their friendship and their admiration for each other. So you can tell, like, if Louis's making fun of you or Louis's, like, you know, touching you, he likes you. And she wants to know what our first impressions of each other were. I'm going to ask you, though, I'm going to put you under pressure, anyway. What was your first impression of me? Well, that uh, please. See, they're all very affectionate, all very physical with each other. Um. <laughs> and Zane, and I mentioned this before, look at Zane. He's listening in with intent. He's listening in with curiosity. He likes being a part of this group. He doesn't have to participate verbally to be a part of the group. He's just sitting there sort of appreciating them. Like Niall was completely carefree, loud, loving life. Liam's changed a little bit since then. Yep. You're quite uptight, quite serious, but he's quite cheeky now. Zane was quiet, but he's come out of his shell now, haven't you? Louis truly does seem like he knows the guys really well. Listen to him analyzing each one of the members. Like Niall was completely carefree, loud, loving life. Although he's probably also the biggest goofball in a lot of ways, he definitely does seem to be the most mature. The next question is from Mary and she wants to know, do we have any rituals before a concert? I haven't done it much lately, but what I used to do is I used to brush my teeth. Yeah, me too. Stage. Change the old socks. Yeah. See how Zane sort of answered the question, but right as he was finishing his answer, he sort of looked away from the camera and looked at the group as sort of an acknowledgement and as a prompt to say, okay, I'm done now, your turn. Sometimes you'll notice that when people are in a group together and they're finished speaking, they're sort of prompting the other people in the group, okay, it's your turn. They're giving the body language and the sign to say, okay, I'm done speaking, you speak now. So I think some people can interpret Zane as not being fully confident in what he's saying, but I think he's just, again, doesn't like when the spotlight's on him, feels uncomfortable being the center of attention. Before I go on stage, I would probably do some press-ups or something just to concentrate myself. Ooh, look at me. Look at me. Yeah. 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 Have like a big hood up as well. Yeah, we do a little, and what do you say, Harry, in it? We go, get it? Let's do the dynamic feels very different when Louis is not speaking. He seems to be sort of the glue in a sense. Very interesting, very interesting. Like Harry doesn't seem to have sort of the same 
presence about him, but he's really blossomed into a superstar, Harry has. Here, it seems like he's more deferring to some of the other members in the group. I also like the fact here that Louis, he can be the butt of the joke, which is something I appreciate, and I think that shows a humble side to Louis. He doesn't have to be the one making fun of. He can be the, make, the one who's getting made fun of. And I think that's a part of his leadership, his communication style, is to reciprocate the fun. That's how he bonds with people. What would be our weapon of choice? Mask and tape. Okay. He said mask and tape, I think. No. What would your weapon of choice <laughs> I said a man with tape. Man with cake. Tape. Cheats. Now, what would your weapon of choice be? Um, uh, orange peels. Orange peels. I think Niall just wants to have a good time. That's the sense I get from Niall. He's just, he's easy going. He's not as like eccentric and out there as like a Louie, but he definitely appreciates a good joke and he likes just having that like easy banter with the guys who doesn't really seem to overthink things too much. What would you use the... Masking tape. Okay, masking tape. What no! No, no, tape. Mama cake. No! Okay. What? They seem to really be waiting for Louis to respond and sort of taking his lead and not talking over him. Like even with the masking tape on his face, they're still really listening in to what he has to say. The dynamic certainly changed, it seems like. Okay guys, thank you so much for your questions. You can leave your next questions for the next diary under here or leave a YouTube link to a video question. And we'll try and get as many done in the next video as possible. Thank you! Bye. Bye. I'll rewind a few seconds. It looks like Zane got a little bit closer to Harry. So I'm just pausing there and you can see Zane and Harry really looking at each other pretty intimately there. And I mentioned this in my last video with One Direction, but it seems like Zane and Harry really have a good dynamic and it really seems like Zane appreciates Harry and, and vice versa. I didn't get a, a, a lot from Liam in this interview. He just seems like one of the dudes. He almost seems like Louis' sidekick, in a sense. Like, Louis the Batman, Liam's the Robin, and is sort of Louis' best mate. So, that's it. One Direction Video Diary. That's the first one I've checked out. Guys, if you want to check out some more exclusive content, click on my Patreon link below. I have videos there that have been taken down from YouTube, and I have uncut videos that I think a lot of you will enjoy. So if you're interested in checking those out, click the Patreon link below in my description. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. My name is Max. I'll catch you soon. Peace.